told y'all about pajamas and boots that is just awesome. So in the summer, you switch to shorts and boots. That's how we do it around here. So Ben is working on my milker just a bit. I have not milked in quite a while. We have been busy with this meat business, getting everything set with that. So we have slacked on the milking, but it's time. It is, it is past time for me to be milking. I've got several cows in milk. Um, I've made the decision I'm not gonna milk Blondie for now because she has turned into a kicker. And um, sometimes if you get a milk cow, you can stop them from kicking, but it takes time and dedication. Uh, you have to work with them if they ever start kicking and really get into a bad habit of that. So I am going to milk these two girls that are up here right now. So Miracle is in milk. You know, she had little hope. I'm gonna show her to you in just a second. And then Miracle's mama, Josie, she had her a sweet baby too, which I need to name. And they spent their first nights separated from their babies and they're not too happy. So we're gonna get them milked and we're gonna get their babies back to them. These sweet little girls. Look how good they're growing. They look so good. their udder which miracle has always kept herself very very clean so it's not usually a problem with her and then you don't want soapy water in your milk so I bring another thermos of clean water and a different clean rag and just wash them and she's gonna be and when that happens, you start all the way over. It, these two, Josie and Miracle, are mother and daughter, and they're the only two that do this. It's like when I wash them, it stimulates something. Josie's always done it. But that's one reason I like using a milker. Uh, milking by hand is fine too, but once I get them washed and the milkers put on, it's what they call a closed system and that's not gonna get in there. But when it happens while I'm still washing, it's a problem. Next thing I do is I check for mastitis and I can just do that by sight. Uh, you can do the tests and stuff if you're new to milking and, and even if you're not, um, a lot of people test theirs like once a week or something just to see if bacteria is starting. But I can tell by sight if we've got a problem going on. Milk a few times to get what's up in the tea out so you're actually getting milk out of the bag. And it should look like milk. If it starts looking clumpy at all, like there's no clumps on my hand, or um, off colored or anything like that, you better investigate further. Another little thing I wanna mention, these plug off your uh, milker and help pressure build up and then I just pinch it off to where I'm keeping the pressure, take this out, 
makes it so much easier to slip on here on the teeth because it will suck up on there real easy. And you've got suction, you're already milking now. So I've told you before that milk cows carry their weight lower. Uh, they're bred to produce milk. They're not bred to produce beef necessarily. Uh, but Miracle's looking a little thin for me. You can see she's sunk in a little bit right there. That's normal for a dairy cow. Uh, that's just how they look. But when she starts getting a little thin like she is now, uh, I'm going to finish milking her and then I am actually going to worm her. That could be part of it. Um, spring pastures and things. Just it, It's been a long while since she's been wormed. She's had a calf. It's just a simple thing I can do to help her put some weight back on. Not to mention starting to milk her again. She gets a little grain to help her produce good milk. It's a dairy grain. That'll help as well. This may sound funny to you, but this is the best bag of all my milk cows. Why do I say that? You can see it's good size, but it's high and tight up close to her body. Uh, if you're looking for a milk cow, these are just things you'd want to look for. Uh, all four quarters work. They're not, any of them have any sort of major deformity or problem. She milks out quickly. Josie, I have a little more trouble getting her to milk with the milk machine for some reason. You can see I'm not having to manipulate this by pulling on it or anything. It's just flowing out. Um, all of those things make for an easy milker. She stands here politely and eats. Um, she will stand here as long as I need her to. I usually don't put anything behind her to trap her in here. She knows the routine. Her head is not caught. She's getting a treat and she's just standing there like a lady. I have to do this or the calves will come up here and stick their head through and the moms will stand there like a nurse. So when I milked Josie, she only had one quarter with milk this morning. And we got a little heifer out here in the pasture with them. We're weaning that took the long two mile trip a few months ago back to its mom. We've weaned her again. So I thought, well, Josie stood around and let her nurse, but her calf's not acting hungry. So I can guarantee you her calf somehow found a way to nurse through this corral. So as you can see, Miracle and Hope are doing amazing, as well as Josie and her calf. I gotta give that little calf a name because she's probably gonna be sticking around as well. Little heifers like that that are growing off as good as Josie's is and Miracle's is, those will be great. Like I can either milk them or they will raise great babies because they will have that dairy in them that will produce a lot of milk, which is what grows a good calf. So uh, I got to get her a name. If you got suggestions, let me know. Um, also, I just wanted to say I get asked a lot about a milk cow. Like, do you recommend milk cows or, or do you think it'd be easier for me to handle a goat? Uh, what's your recommendation? We have had just about everything here on our homestead. We've milked goats, we've had cows, um, all kinds of animals, and there's lots of people that milk sheep and different things like that. We've had sheep as well. I would just say go with whatever you're comfortable with, whatever your land will allow. But if your desire is a milk cow and you really like cow milk, don't be afraid of it. That would just be my main point I want to get across. Cows are no more scary to me than goats. They're not any harder to train. Um, you're very rarely going to get one that's going to come in there and just be crazy wild trying to hurt you. Dairy breeds just don't tend to be that way. They're pretty easy going. Now, I know there's going to be stories out there of people that have been hurt. In fact, 
Ben worked at Dairies before I met him and one of his cousins actually got kicked. But Dairies are set up to where they were on kind of eye level with the feet. It's a whole different situation. So um, they're not going to necessarily kick out like a horse and like kick at your head. So I wouldn't be like terrified of cows at all. That's the main point I want people to know is that they're pretty easy keepers, um, especially like jerseys. They have a pretty laid back personality. Now they can be stubborn, but they're generally not mean. So I just want to end this by saying, go for it. If your land allows it, it's what you desire. Give it a try. I don't think you'll be disappointed. And you can see I got two and three quarters gallons from two cows, one of which only had one quarter because someone had nursed during the night. So you can see they provide a good amount of milk. Um, you may think that's way too much for my family, but you can do calf sharing. You don't have to uh, milk them every day. You can share with the calf and let the calf have it the rest of the time. Only milk once a week if you want. It's so flexible. People have just come so far in thinking outside the box and how to make this work for them and their family. It doesn't have to be X, Y, Z, and that's the only way you can do it. You can do any number of things. So if there's anything I can do to help you guys getting started with a dairy cow, shoot me an email, leave it in the comments. I'd be happy to give you what little advice I have, but I'd be happy to help you get started and, and feel more comfortable. I'll see you guys on the next one. Hope you have a great, great rest of the week, and I'll see you later. God bless.